Welcome to Jill Asset News. I get top stories in cryptocurrency digital assets and break them down into bite sized pieces. Today, the dominoes continue to fall. Bitwise 10 Crypto Index Fund has liquidated its entire position in XRP. So at first glance, it looks pretty bad, but if you get into it, it's really not too much on this side. But the real question becomes is what is coming up next? But before we get into that, I want to take you down a trip down memory lane. Remember this guy? This is Brian Brooks. He's the czar of the OCC. And he said these exact comments over on December 8th. Just take a listen and tell me if this doesn't sound a little bit odd. That. Should we be expecting some new regulations by, by the end of the Trump term? I think you're going to see a lot of good news for crypto by the end of the Trump term. Some of it's going to have to do with banks connecting to blockchain. Some of it's going to be more clarity around the nature of these assets. So believe me, there's going to be very positive messages coming out. I don't know what he's talking about because it doesn't seem too positive right now. There's a lot of bad things coming about. I mean, one of those, of course, being uh, the SEC uh, putting a lawsuit out against uh, Ripple and XRP. And there was a couple of things that we talked about yesterday. Uh, check that video out. Uh, first of all, we talked about it. The SEC believes that uh, uh, XRP is a security. And second, it has a problem with how these securities, quote unquote, or XRP, was uh, actually sold to investors. So there's two different criteria here that they're looking at. So, of course, with that fantastic news, this is what happened to the price of XRP. Uh, who saw this coming, right? 33% down, 34 for the week, and uh, it's down to 31 cents. Um, if you're an XRP holder like myself, that's a bummer. But, uh, you know, hey. It is what it is. These are the games that we play. These are what we are into. And uh, I've been looking on the Twitterverse and there's been two different theories. One is hold for dear life because XRP is going to win this lawsuit. The other one is just sell and get out like crazy. I'm not going to tell you what to do because that's not my job. But I will just tell you this. Uh, these lawsuits uh, are going to take forever. It's going to be well over a year. It's going to be a lot of ups and downs and um, just expect uh, extreme volatility. Uh, if not XRP moving out of there. So I have my whole theories about what's going to happen and, and, and how it's all going to affect America, how it's going to affect Ripple and XRP, but that's not this video. This video is all about the liquidation. So here's what's going on. This was today. Bitwise 10 Crypto Index Fund uh, has liquidated its position in XRP. Uh, it states, this fund does not invest in assets that are reasonably likely to be deemed securities under federal or state security laws. Bitwise decision to liquidate its position in XRP was based on consideration of new public information from the SEC's complaint. So when you have something like, like this come up, whether they win or not, you have to understand these institutions are not about exposing themselves to risks. And I totally, I, I totally understand now why when you could invest in a certain projects or ICOs, it, it would always say, we're only looking for accredited investors. Those are people who make $200,000 or more, because this is one of the complaints that the SEC has. They said, why did you go to just straight up retail investors when you really should have gone to accredited investors because they are more savvy, they have more money, and they can lose more, whatever else it is. And I'm not here to debate that. But again, these institutions, when they look at this and like, whoa, whoa, we don't want to be involved in that. And that's their whole job. So prior to the sale of the asset on December 26th, Second, XRP was approximately 3.8% of the fund. So not really that big of a deal, 3.8%. Uh, the fund liquidated its position and reinvested the proceeds in other portfolio assets. So again, you have to wonder if Bitwise is doing this, what is going to happen across the spectrum? And then the next question I had was, what are exchanges going to do? I actually woke up to a tweet from, uh, or, I'm sorry, a message from uh, my, my man, Alex Mascioli. He's like, hey, just so you know, Bitwise liquidated everything. This is how I know all this stuff and why it was put out. And I asked him, I said, hey man, are they going to do this to exchanges? And he said, yes, they're going to remove them from exchanges or else they're gonna be sued. And then I asked him, is that for all the exchanges? And he says, well, he goes, if the exchanges have regulation clarity to list a security, which some of them do, then they won't. So now the next question becomes, and really this is a good question, this is, this is a legitimate question. Are different exchanges going to delist XRP for what is going on in fear of uh, what is happening? Now, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm not telling you to do anything. I'm just saying when something negative like this happens to institutions, they or anyone, they try to distance themselves from and go like, Eek, we're not a part of this. So you deal with that. And then when you're all good, we'll come and help you. And that's uh, how it is. And finishing up. Investors are encouraged to read the annual report and carefully consider these and other risks, including the fact that if any of the assets held by the fund are determined to be a security, 
under federal or state securities laws by the by the SEC or any other, any other agency in a court of law or otherwise, it may have material adverse consequences for the fund and the Bitwise shares, which is why they liquidated everything. So again, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can almost guarantee this is not the last of what's about to happen across other funds and potentially across other exchanges. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes. I'm not a behind the scenes player. However, if you go to any of my videos, even this one, just scroll down in the description, uh, right down here of all the channel, uh, channels I recommend. You got Coin Bureau, uh, Alex, Hash, Crypto Nodes, Crazy for Cryptos. I love those guys. Uh, there's Alex's channel. Just click on that. And he's the one with the behind the scenes uh, type of players and has all that information. So check out his channel because I'm sure he'll have something to say about it today. And that's it. So uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a little bit more in-depth uh, type of analysis and uh, what's going on in the stories. Also, see this guy right here? This guy right here? That's Danish. He's going to come on the show. I'm going to get him on the show. We're going to do a, a live premiere. And we're going to give away $100 worth of uh, Bitcoin cash. So definitely check that out later tonight. And that is it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, which is the night.